top 10 embarrassing Camilla moments that proved she was crazy. Number 10, making her ex jealous. Camilla Parker Bowles met Andrew Parker Bowles in 1966, and despite his womanizing reputation, the 19-year-old was completely smitten. Unfortunately, the British Army officer allegedly cheated on Camilla reportedly throughout their on-again, off-again relationship. Although the Duchess put up with her wondering boyfriend, she did have one waiting to exhale moment. According to biographer Penny Junor, Camilla saw Andrew's car parked outside the home of one of her best friends, and she let the air out of his tires. In the early 70s, Andrew began a secret, intimate relationship with Princess Anne. Camilla must have decided that when your ex is dating a princess, vandalizing his car for a second time just won't cut it. So instead, she sought revenge by dating a future king. Number 9, Wedding a Sabotage. The Princess of Wales knew before she even walked down the aisle that Camilla Parker Bowles and Prince Charles still held deep feelings for one another, but still the wedding planning continued full steam ahead. And then a few days before their 1981 wedding, Charles hand delivered a monogram bracelet that he made for his ex-girlfriend. In Diana, her true story, in her own words, Diana recalled that Charles Inappropriate gifts left her devastated and in a rage. It turns out that the shady monogram jewelry was also Camilla's forte. Diana recounted to Andrew Morton that during her honeymoon, she noticed Charles wearing some interesting cufflinks. While getting ready for a white tie dinner, the Prince of Wales put on cufflinks that had two C's entwined. Diana confronted her husband, asking, Camilla gave you those, didn't she? The prince responded defensively, yes, so what's wrong? They're a gift from a friend. Number eight, Camilla Gates. Camilla was already disliked by much of the British public when Prince Charles and Princess Diana separated. And then Camilla Gates happened. The Duchess of Cornwall was mocked and vilified by the press and thoroughly loathed by Diana's supporters. In 1993, an explicit phone conversation between Camilla and the prince was leaked. The phone call, which Los Angeles Times reported, was recorded by an amateur radio buff who picked it up on a high-tech scanning equipment, took place in 1989. And Camilla was also still married at that time. The call was sexual, a little odd, and very intimate. The same outlet that reported to the press maintained that the conversation lent credence to the theory that Charles and Camilla had been lovers throughout his entire marriage. Number seven, Harry versus Camilla. Speaking to the prince, if you ever wondered how Harry feels about his stepmom, apparently it's somewhat complicated. Harry doesn't have great respect for Camilla and has pretty much no interest in starting a close relationship with her. I mean, obviously we aren't surprised to know King Charles' sons are not all happy with him ditching their mom for his mistress. Harry and William were initially very happy to welcome Camilla into the royal family because she kept in the background and didn't interfere. But then something shifted, like always. It was revealed that part of the reason Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, fled the UK was because of racist comments Camilla allegedly made about their then unborn son, Archie. Number six, confrontation. As many know, Diana eventually decided to confront her husband's mistress about their affair. The recording claims that Diana recalled Charles hurriedly running around to inquire about her plans. Sounds like Diana had the future king sweating. Diana told Camilla boldly, I'd just like you to know that I know exactly what is going on, despite the Princess of Wales claims that she was terrified of Camilla. By claiming that she had no idea what Diana was talking about, Camilla attempted to refute the allegation. Diana recalled Camilla saying that she had all the men in the world and everything she could ever want. Diana replied to Camilla, I want my husband, when she was asked about what else she could want. That's almost poetic. You can have everything, but if you don't have something important to you, it really feels like you have nothing. Number five, not accepted. Prince William and Harry have set strong boundaries regarding their relationship with their dad's wife. 
Prince William made it clear that the newly appointed queen consort will never fill the role of his late mother, Princess Diana. Apparently, the Prince of Wales does not want Camilla trying to get close to his children, George, Charlotte, and Louis. William considered her bossy, mean, spirited, and thoughtless. Yikes, again, Camilla. It's like she doesn't even care to be liked by anyone other than Charles. Number four, she met the Pope looking like Princess Diana. Camilla Parker Bowles has always had the unfortunate disadvantage of being compared to Prince Charles' first wife, the late Princess Diana. The apparent similarities between the two women's wardrobes have thus long been a moment of observation for both royal watchers and royalists. Bowles has been accused of imitating Princess Diana's style on multiple occasions. Importantly, when Camilla visited the Vatican to meet Pope Benedict XVI in 2009, she went for a dark trope, including a trim cover and pearl necklace. When Princess Diana wore a similar black dress and veil to meet Pope John Paul II in 1985, this look was compared to hers. In spite of what doubters guarantee that Camilla wearing copycat clothing, it is really the convention for the Pope's crowd to sport dark. When meeting the Pope, women typically don a modest black dress and veil. The sovereign as well, who ordinarily possibly wears dark while grieving, wore comparative luxurious when she met the Pope in 1980. Number three, royal heirloom. It's no secret that Camilla Parker Bowles was dubbed the most hated woman in Britain by the British public and media for being the third person in Prince Charles's marriage. Though the Queen Consort has worked hard to shed that rep over the years, criticism still follows Camilla in many ways for everything she does. For example, a wave of it came for her way in 2019 when Camilla sported a brooch redesigned from a diamond emerald necklace that was in Princess Diana's ownership before her passing. According to Marie Claire, Camilla wore the pin with an emerald green ensemble to celebrations marking the 50th anniversary of Prince Charles' investiture. The original ornament was a family heirloom passed down by the Queen Mother and Diana was photographed with it across her neck at the Vienna Burg Theatre in 1986. Number two called out for her fur hats. When the occasion calls for it, Camilla is not afraid to experiment with big, bold fashion. However, her choices don't always go over well with the public because she is constantly under scrutiny. A Russian-style cap she donned back in 2010 at the illustrious family's Sandringham Christmas Chapel gathering is a valid example. The extra hat worn by the Duchess of Cornwall at the time was supposedly made of genuine fur, which prompted outrage. The wearing of fur by our royal family, a product that is deemed too cruel to be produced in this country, fur farms were banned here in 2000. It is simply unacceptable, noted the publication's Liz Jones. But Camilla still seems to like the look. Finally, in the number one spot, the other woman. Diana once confronted Camilla about her affair as Charles and Camilla were casually hanging out in their palace and Diana requested to speak to Camilla privately to which Camilla obviously tried to act oblivious and denied the allegations. Now, what would we do without this juicy royal family drama? And also shout out to Netflix's The Crown for giving us the gift of seeing how exactly this drama may have gone down. I guess at the end of it all, Diana was right and Charles did marry Camilla. But more importantly, she's still living with the guilt of causing a rift between the late princess and her husband. But hey, I'm sure we can all agree that 10 years of marriage is definitely better than one big royal affair. So let's give Camilla a little love for putting up with Charles's antics and providing stability to the royal family. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we will see you guys in the next one.